Rita Tinina, KTN, at the Lake Nakuru National Park, Nakuru County. Rita Tanina was a seasoned journalist who made remarkable contributions to the media industry and held prestigious roles at KTN News, owned by the Standard Group and NTV, owned by Nation Media Group. She was found dead in her Kilaleshwa residence on March 17, 2024. Reports indicate that Rita was supposed to be on duty at NTV, but failed to report to work, prompting managers at the media house to try reaching out to her, but when she was unreachable via phone. It was later revealed that her house help found her lifeless body in her bed that morning when they went to wake her up for breakfast. Rita's family was present when the police arrived to pick up the body to move it to the mortuary pending autopsy. The cause of her death is still unknown. Rita had more than a decade of experience in journalism, both in radio and TV. She worked at the Nation Media Group before moving to KTN News in 2012 and worked as a senior reporter before returning to NTV in October 2023. Rita pursued and graduated with Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communication and Media Studies from the University of Nairobi. This foundational academic background undoubtedly equipped Rita with the skills and knowledge that propelled her in the dynamic field of journalism. Rita Tanina leaves behind one daughter. In Meru County, the Alliance Party of Kenya held its nominations for various elective positions. Her notable work includes the coverage of then-Deputy President William Ruto's trial at The Hague 10 years ago, the government scorecard, the truck explosion at the Karai area in Naivasha, and conservation stories including holding an interview on saving elephants. She also brought to Kenyans the life and times of Mama Lucy Kibaki, a biography of the former first lady.